running just high or just shy of the 6,000 pound mark depending on the options and equipment present. This is the 25RB Jayco Jayfeather here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this is a segment of the Jayco family that is, I think, the hands down winner for the most approved award. They have made some, they, they've made five years of advances in one little update generation. I think you are going to like what you see. First with our slide out closed, like almost everybody who builds this floor plan, you can get to the bathroom, the living room, the kitchen, but the bedroom is a little more problematic without bumping that slide out. However, looking at it before we even touch that slide, they laid out the kitchen, what I think is correctly. You can still access all of the cabinetry. You can access all of the drawers. You can get to the storage in the dinette. Now, there's actually plenty of room here if you do the Dukes of Hazard, yee-haw, and jump over the countertop, you could get to the bedroom. But the thing is, you don't really have to. If all you're trying to do is get the RV packed up and ready, you can come over here to the control panel. And this is a rack and pinion slide. So if you open it six, seven, eight, nine inches, and then stop and pack up the RV, and then walk out and close it, those six, seven, eight, nine inches, you will not hurt this type of slide out. Different types of slides have different types of benefits, and one of the benefits of this one is that you can just open it partially. However, what I'm not saying is you can't fully use it when it's partially open. Do, don't like get in the slide and sit in the slide and jump around the slide. Walk past the slide, pack up your bedroom, walk past the slide, close it. That's how you can use this one right here. And if I had a nickel for every time somebody asked me, can I get that Jayco Eagle Modern Farmhouse decor in something other than an eagle? I would have a lot of nickels, more than I can count on my fingers and toes, which after shop class is not as many as you would think. But the fact is, the answer now is, you bet, you can get the Modern Farmhouse decor almost across the board at Jayco. And by the time it's said and done, I bet it will end up happening. It just hasn't happened yet. So this is a whole new breed of Jayfeather. Fr frankly, take anything you thought you knew about Jayfeather other than structural things and throw it all away. It's a complete interior, exterior, equipment, and facelift. It's not just prettier. It is more functional and, and really, in almost every respect, better than it had been before. And I say every respect because I'm sure there's one person who would just say that they prefer the old blue stripe generation, but this is a class above and beyond anything we saw from Jay Feather before. Something I like in this layout is that extra wide sliding privacy door up into the bedroom. Uh, it just really kind of opens the whole floor plan up and makes this thing look and feel not so little, but look at these big windows. First of all, they are all cross breeze windows, not just the, the big panoramic viewing windows here, but even your slide side windows on that accented slide wall. Key into that real quick. It's not just one flat color through the RV. Everything's got a shape and a character. Every single surface in, our, in this RV was considered, thought, pressed, dressed. Um, you know, storage doors for easy access storage below that dinette. Additionally, all Jayco slides, even in a J Flight SLX super, super basic camper, they still have a radiant barrier through that slide floor to help with heating, cooling efficiency to keep everything more comfortable. Um, plenty of room for stuff like, uh, you know, your dish soaps and hand soaps and whatnot. All sealed edge countertops through the kitchen area, which allows them to recess the sink and the stove. And the, uh, the total kitchen storage in this model is, it's fantastic. It really accomplishes everything you're going to need. But before we get there, I want to look up and talk about the optional 15,000 BTU air conditioner you can apply to these J-Feathers. Um, it's something that, it costs very little to do from the factory level. It costs a lot to do aftermarket. And uh, frankly, you're never going to regret the extra cooling power. And then after that, I want to talk about another option up here. That is the fact that you can add on a uh, max air ceiling vent fan to pretty much any of these J-Feather floor plans. Now the location varies by model, but it's always in a very intelligent location by your seating and or cooking area to maximize cross flow from air, uh, cross breeze windows, you know, for airflow, or um, to exhaust kitchen cooking heating, you know, it's always in a really good spot for that. Now, just as always with all Jayco's, we have pocket screwed, longer lasting cabinetry. It's not stapled particle board, or as the folks at Jayco sometimes refer to it, beaver puke. <laughs> 
thing that's cool, again, as long as we're looking up here, all Jayco's do this. If you have central air, you can close and turn the vent so you always maintain uh, control over your airflow. Now, in order to do that, they actually have to use a little more expensive AC condensing system. And that's one of those little hidden Jayco niceties that is very easily overlooked. As we work our way down here, at a glance, you go, where the heck are the outlets? And then you see that pop-up power tower right there, and that's fine. But you also have additional outlets under the overhead cabinets, actually. You've got uh, two more above the sink areas there. So there is uh, no less than six household plugs and two USB plugs here in the kitchen. And that breeze window is awesome. The sealed edge countertops right here allow them to uh, use that recessed sink and stove to really maximize prep space. We saw the storage below the sink, but as we start uh, looking down and backing up, you've got plywood drawers to the floor. And they even throw an extra drawer under the refrigerator because they just don't like to let anything go to waste. Now, speaking of storage, if we get over here, you see you've got a little bit of that uh, pantry tainment razzle-dazzle storage that I talk about all the time. And above that, you can see that we have a TV that pivots out for easy viewing. So this is a, a, a supremely no neck wrecker entertainment system as it is because the TV is directly across from the sofa or the optional theater seat that we'll look at in just a minute here. But obviously you can make it easy viewing from pretty much anywhere. And around the corner, this has become, I think, the most popular arrangement of floor plans like this, the walk-in pantry. But as you reach in, bah, like a magic spell from Harry Potter, you're gonna Osseo that Luminari up here or whatever they would say, I don't know. You know, as much of a dork as I am, I never actually, got into the whole Harry Potter thing. I've got no problem with it. I'm, I'm, I enjoy it. I just never really got into it that much. Now, someone's going to ask, why don't the shelves go all the way up to the door, dummy? And I, when you're on YouTube all day, every day, and people have the supreme anonymity of hiding behind a screen name, that's pretty much exactly how they phrase it. But to answer the question, because it's also a coat closet or a broom closet. And this gives you an area right here where you could like hang things like brooms, swiffers, etc. vertically. And if these shelves were four feet deep, you'd have to crawl into them to get to them. They wouldn't be functional. So this maintains maximum pantry functionality while still giving you the uh, utility functionality over here that you would otherwise lose out upon. Um, moving forward past that big, I think it's kind of called like a, a farm style door in here. We've got our quaint, cute little bedroom. Now, little Jago things, their sliding pocket door, it actually um, do, it has a little latch on the inside of the bedroom. And that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize. Most bedroom sliding doors have no definitive privacy. They are private in, only in the fact that they are a visual stop point. But this one right here, you can actually latch it. Now, you see that little light switch on the wall? When I first walked into this trailer, I walked up to this light switch and I clicked it and it didn't come on. Although, obviously, you can control them individually like I've just demonstrated in inadvertently. <laughs> and I was like, what the heck? And then I looked over I was like, oh, look at that handy snazzy little feature. Now, everybody packs their RVs different. I've learned that. And I think the folks at Jayfeather Whitehawk know that because you're like, why is there a shelf in the closet? Well, the answer is very simple. The shelf is removable. So you have as much or as little wardrobe space and as much or as little pantry. Or, God bless it. I keep saying pantry. Uh, <laughs> hanging space, linen space, as you want. You get the idea. Now, look up above the bed. You see that neat little pocket? Nice little spot to kind of slot your phone at night. But frankly, I don't think you're going to use it. I think you're going to use these little almost hidden pockets behind the wardrobe closets. And you know what else is back there? A household outlet. You can't see it from here. It's actually hidden on the back side of that cabinet right there. But the fact is, J Feathers have built in CPAP storage. And that is <laughs> very cool. There are also additional household outlets over here. So you have household outlets on either side of that hanging wardrobe closet. And it's just very cool. No, there, there's no one that won't be able to use and enjoy the function of that. And of course, if you are interested in throwing a TV in the RV, they give you a nice little spot over here in the wall where there's a 10 by 10 little galvanized plate basically laminated into the wall to give your screws for a TV mount something to bite into. Peeking around the other direction, 
It actually becomes a little more apparent as you look at the top of that entertainment center with the modern farmhouse decor. Uh, it's not actually like people say, oh, it's white and black. It's actually like an espresso brown. And when you see it hit by direct light, you see that brown accent come in. But the color contrast is so severe. But the entertainment center being a little bit darker, it kind of lends some definition. You see that over here, this is the kitchen. Over there, that's our living area. And once again, you want to sit down, lounge out at the end of the night with that optional theater wall-hugging cinema seat that we've applied over here at Haylet RV, uh, directly across from that entertainment center. And again, it's the definition of a no-neck wrecker uh, entertainment center. Now, a lot of people don't realize, and I'm not saying it works perfectly for everybody, but theater seats are actually still not a bad guest sleeper. If you take a look here, since those are wall huggers, they fold down or pull down or whatever you want to call it, nearly flat. And you can see that our dinette also folds down into a guest sleeper right here. So what that allows us is, this is an awesome couples camper. It's light, it's bright, it's not heavy, it's very much within that half ton towability range. Um, it's an easy length to tow. It's, it hits so many notes. If you start checking off boxes, it just starts checking off all the boxes. And one of the things that those boxes include is a place to sleep a guest, even if they very rarely will come over. Maybe you're not interested in that at all, but the fact is it could happen. Or maybe instead of a guest, uh, um, <laughs> unruly husband. I don't know. I'm not speaking from experience. I'm just speaking from experience. Moving on. Big rear bathroom. And I tell you what. They nailed the storage in this thing. That was one of my personal things that I wanted to see Jay Feather improve upon in previous years. They needed more storage, and they have brought the storage. So not only is this a big space down here for like body washes and soaps and whatnot, up top here, you have a removable shelf for a bonus closet. So if you want it, you have a bonus wardrobe closet in here. The uh, new addition of things like little uh, bathroom windows, which of course have blackout privacy sheets, but it opens up the RV, more light. Lighter feels brighter, brighter feels bigger, bigger feels better. And they're using a large radius shower, not a little travel trailer tub. And as compared to previous years, what they would do very often, even in the Whitehawk series, and they've improved on this there, is they would have this little shelf thing over here and once you got to your destination you could put all your stuff on it but it was worthless in transit now just like the other side of the rv we have a second full cab so we have a dedicated linen cabinet over here in addition to the potential hanging closet even if you turn the other thing into a hanging closet you still have linen storage space and this right here is one of those features I've always thought helped Rockwood achieve the success that they had by including that amazing amount of bathroom storage. And just like the bedroom, you see how this sliding bathroom door locks in place? And then when it's closed or open or however you want to call it, I guess you could refer to that either way, it latches in place again so that when you're in the bathroom, even though you have the sliding door, which most sliding bathroom doors do not actually offer true locked security privacy, this one does. And I'm just noticing something. Holy crap, did they load this thing with lights. Lights in the RV business are very expensive. And I'm counting like 10 just main cabin lights or so in here. Holy cow. Usually in a floor plane like this, you'll get three or four. Jeez, oh, beats. That accent wall up front actually persists all the way down through the pass-throughs, the full front nose sweep, and you see that we've got a nicely sized pass-through here. It also has a bit larger, what I like to call almost kind of side saddle pockets, where you see how it kind of grows up taller under the side stand there, kind of good for oddly shaped things. The household outlets outside, always useful, although you will uh, find that this also has, uh, you know, outside TV hookups and outlets as well. Magnet holdbacks on those baggage doors and a switch for those handy nose accent lights. And uh, they're there purely for visual aesthetic reasons, but good gravy, do they really just set the tone for the front of this thing? Those little lightsaber glow beams on the front there. So, uh, like all Jayco's now, this has a best in class warranty. Uh, not, 
they, Jayco really has, frankly. They've had a, uh, a two-year warranty where every other manufacturer, almost every other manufacturer, has had a, a one-year warranty. Some brands had this three-year structural thing, and not all of those were created equally. So Jayco said, you know what? We're going to just eliminate all the concern. We're going to keep our two-year warranty that already is beating everybody else. And then we're going to match their three-year structural coverage just for that additional peace of mind. Now, I wanted to leave this door down over here so that you could see a little easier view of the magnet holdbacks. Also, the full sealed piano hinges. And that's what's nice. This is made to be the little brother to the White Hawk. But the thing is, it's not that you're, you're losing here. It's just that you're gaining on the White Hawk. Everything that's like you're really looking for, you want that warranty assurance, you want the heated enclosed underbelly, you want the best in class Goodyear endurance radials rated for 87 miles per hour. Uh, they're all here. The White Hawk is just kind of the, the juiced up, jazzed up steroids version of a J Feather. And the J Feather is now finally, I think, something to just really be proud of towing down the road. I think the biggest problem with it is that everyone's going to be rubbernecking around wanting to see your camper. And I like the little things they did back here in this pocket. Like, you might notice how all of the windows open for airflow. I think we talked about that inside. But that's an important factor I want to point out additionally. All of the windows are UV tinted. And it's amazing. There are even, like, uh, in the more entry level kind of campers there were several uh brands that had gone away from window tint and now up in the laminated segment i'm starting to see some brands remove their window tint and jayco's not going to be one of those i don't believe they ever will be because it helps keep the sun down it helps prevent furniture fade a lot of things we have a black flush we have a full outside shower and then we've got this little pocket right here i call this why not storage you go what is this for and the answer is, why not? Why wouldn't you just use that space? Because it's there's a pocket inside they couldn't use, and they said, let's just add an extra baggage door. Now, little decisions like that. Those are the reasons J Feathers are still not the least expensive ultralight across the market. But arguably, it's why uh, they're one of the more intelligently designed uh, ultralights out there. Obviously, we like them. We brought them on here at Halo RV. The uh, roof ladder on the back giving us access to that Jayco Magnum Trust fully walkable, like more than fully walkable kind of roof system. You could almost have a little hoot nanny up there. <laughs> um, spare tire, hope you never need it. <laughs> really hope you got it if you do. Also back here, a couple little things. If you want to do some outside grilling, you don't have to burn up your, um, uh, your people inside. You're not going to add all that extra heat to the RV. Because right down below this cute little pet leash latch, we've got a handy little outside grill connect. Also, this does still benefit from the J Smart lighting system. That signals, markers, and reverse travel. That white element in the middle will glow exceptionally bright, like shockingly bright at night. It's a uh, reverse light. And then up top, you see how you have extra clearance lights. Well, what'll happen is very much like a semi-tractor trailer. Let's say you're buzzing down the road and you flip on your right-hand turn signal. Those extra upper clearance lights, of course, the associated brake light, and then all side marker lights will blink along with that system to give other drivers on the road better understanding of your intentions which improves everybody's safety. This thing has a very generously sized two finger easy tilt power awning. Of course, LED lighting below. You can see how there's that uh, larger handle for coming and going. And then to enhance that further, we like to build these with those optional Moride stable steps to give you the maximum amount of come and go stability. So this, this J Feather basically will just be more sturdy and stable than any J Feather has in the past. We have Dexter axles, I already told you about the Goodyear Endurance radials. Then little things like this. It has outside TV hookups, but, and you see this used in other areas of Jayco, they have this neat little quick release uh, TV bracket right here, so that if you want to add an extra screen to this camper, you have the perfect place outdoors for it. So we've seen everything, at least at a, a cursory glance from ground level. I highly encourage you folks, visit us here at Halet RV and see one of these in person because uh, buying an RV a lot of times, uh, I kind of liken it to a dressing room and I call our dealership our dressing room very often and you need to come try them on for size, but at least on the rack, whoo, this thing looks good. You can walk all over every Jayco and it's funny, I was just commenting, um, uh, on the weight of Jayco models versus most other things in the industry with a uh, representative of a different brand of RVs. 
He said, man, you know, you guys carry those Jayco's. They're always heavier. I said, yeah. It's because there's a little more to them. Um, there's a lot of RVs out there, frankly. Pretty much everything has a walkable roof. That's not an uncommon quality. Uh, and really, the only brand that we carried that had a service-only non-walkable roof has recently changed over. And they took a weight increase to do it. But that's the thing. Uh, they still weigh a little bit less than a J-Feather because like all Jayco's, their Magnum Truss roof system, it adds some weight to the RV, but it also adds the heaviest load rating of any, any towable main market travel trailer out there. Uh, like over 4,000 pounds, and that's more than 50% greater than anybody else doing this. Uh, so unfortunately, that means a little bit more weight. However, that also means a little bit more uh, peace of mind, rigidity, snow load, weight load, stress capacity, because if everything up here is a little bit thicker, everything up here is a little bit heavier, that means it can hold up a little bit better, stronger, longer. And that's kind of the idea behind a Jayco. That's why if you start looking around at all these different brands, that's why they have an unparalleled warranty, because they're doing unparalleled things. And it's not that I'm saying everybody else is substandard built. I don't believe that, actually. I don't believe that at all. I think that there's just a difference between good and better. And when it comes to their roofing, Jayco doesn't even want to be better. They want to be the best. They want to be thicker, better, heavier, stronger, longer lasting. So if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for a small, lightweight RV that you can just tote around and not have to worry about is it going to be held together by the time I get there, I think this J-Feather is definitely one that fits that bill and should be on your list. Or it's Big Brother Whitehawk like you see over there. And this is, these are some of our used pieces that we're looking at right now, but you get the idea, I think. So give us a call. We do it all at Halet RV, hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything in between, but we do not do hidden dealer fees. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone.